Hi guys, Bacchus Bruce got the backstory on the 2015 Wooden Head Charbono. Uh, this is Mendocino County juice. Got this for $14.99 at Grocery Outlet in Petaluma. Uh, really fantastic assortment there at that particular grocery outlet. Steve the Wine Guy uh, does a terrific job. So uh, this is a single vineyard Charbono coming from the Guido Venturi uh, Vineyard in Mendocino County. Now Guido Venturi was an actual guy. He was one of the uh, early uh, pioneers in Mendocino County planting uh, when it was just wilderness and people thought, uh, what are you doing planting in Mendocino of all places? You're nuts. So uh, him and folks like John Parducci and Charles Barra uh, really kind of got the whole Mendocino wine thing started uh, uh, way back when. Now, uh, the uh, the old history of Charbono is, is quite fascinating in California. It was brought uh, during the gold rush time, of course, in the 1800s and planted uh, as what people thought was Barbera when it actually turns out it's uh, Charbono. Uh, now Charbono's spiritual home comes from the Savoie region of France, which is uh, in the eastern part of the country near the Jura, uh, going uh, kind of close to Switzerland actually. And uh, it does have different names in different places ar around the world. Um, in Argentina, for example, it's known as Bernarda, which is uh, uh, actually the second most uh, widely planted varietal in Argentina, uh, beh behind of course uh, Malbec. Now um, more recent history, Ingle nook when it was kind of a thing and kind of a name, uh, actually did a, a single uh, varietal bottling of Charbono uh, starting in the 40s and uh, and really kind of uh, went all the way into the 80s when uh, uh, Inglenook finally decided that, look, you know, Cabernet is, is more lucrative and uh, Charbono, who knows what it is and, and nobody's really drinking it and, and we're just going to go ahead and, uh, and, and switch over to Cab. And so at this point in time now, only about 76 acres or so is left of Charbono. Uh, throughout uh, all of California. Now, most of that's uh, in Napa, of course. Uh, Napa really uh, needs to take a look at uh, Charbono because Charbono has a lot of really interesting things that it brings to the table. Uh, one, it's a fantastic blending grape. Uh, uh, Randall Graham from Bonnie Dune uh, uh, calls it the Venice MSG, uh, kind of a little uh, joke about uh, how MSG enhances Chinese food. And it's his feeling that Charbono, uh, in very small amounts, uh, does add a lot of uh, uh, fruit expression and complexity to your Cabernet or Syrah or whatever it happens to be. Single vineyard uh, wines uh, do need to be at least 95% uh, from that uh, site, but you can add another 5% of, of whatever you want, and uh, a little Charbono might really be uh, what you need. Now, uh, Charbono is, is is also wonderful because it's a low alcohol wine. Uh, it achieves uh, ripeness at lower bricks, so wines, uh, Charbono typically comes in about 12%. This one's at uh, just 11.5%, so very, very modest, uh, which I really appreciate. Um, now, uh, 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 Charbono is a late ripening grape, and um, it's it's kind of known as the Christmas grape just because it takes so long to ripen. And uh, for all those reasons, a Napa really should think about uh, uh, taking a more serious look at Charbono. Now, Cabernet is, is making so much money, almost three times as much um, per acre, uh, excuse me, per ton uh, in, in, in price of harvest time that it doesn't really make a lot of sense to go big on Charbono. Now, this uh, 2016 from Woodenhead is current uh, on their website and they're asking about $38 for it and really it's it's quite a steal at that price because uh, it costs the same amount of money to grow it as it does Cabernet. And now Charbono does have kind of a cult following of sorts. Uh, not a whole lot out there. There's only 200 cases made of this particular wine and um, it, it, it's something that I'm really excited about trying. I've had a, a couple in my life and I remember them being uh, uh, quite tarry and smoky so I'm excited to uh, see what this one's all about. Uh, we'll see you in the tasting room.